Our next speakers are from Phase 4 Engineering. I still have my mic from the, <laughs> from the Phase 4 Engineering. Uh, and uh, they will demonstrate the battery-free wireless RFID strain sensor that can be embedded in concrete and or materials. Uh, so another version of this sensor that are battery-assisted can log timestamp strain sensor readings to memory and be downloaded at a later time over the RFID interface. Okay. okay. So as, as I set up here, I'll get a, a little bit of an introduction. Um, uh, phase four engineering uh, invented battery-free wireless RFID sensing. Um, so we'll look at this screen to start off with. And uh, we're using standard UHF EPC RFID. And so what, when I use the term RFID, I find that people don't always understand uh, what that means. Um, but if you have a car uh, that has a tag, you drive through a toll, there's an RFID tag in there. There's a, there's a radio uh, beam that's shot to the RFID tag. And then without a battery, it reflects back a digital number to the uh, antenna and that's an, an ID number for your car is sent. The same thing is used in library books. Uh, if you walk out and you haven't checked out the library book, it'll let you know that. And then there's handheld readers that are RFID readers like this one that are used in retail for taking inventory on clothes that have RFID tags on them. So the tags have no battery and they send back an ID number. Um, what we've done at Phase 4 Engineering, and we've been doing this for about 15 years, is we do battery-free wireless RFID sensors. So in addition to reflecting back an ID number, we reflect back sensor data. And we've been doing temperature and pressure and moisture sensors for a long time. But we had several clients of ours pull us into the area of strain sensing. And we found that it's a huge opportunity and a, and a fantastic application of this technology but it's a very technically difficult challenge because we're trying to read a very very low signal level from a foil strain gauge while we're blasting a strong radio signal at the electronics while we're trying to energy harvest from the our, from the radio field to power up our electronics while we're trying to provide an extremely stable voltage to the uh, strain sensor circuit while, and on top of that, the sensor is often has to be, the sensor antenna often has to be metal mounted, which is not a great way to harvest energy. Um, one of the first projects that we did was this project. Uh, this is me here at the Northgate Tunnel. This was a tunnel boring machine project. And the engineer that designed these concrete liners inside the tunnel wanted to embed a strain sensor that's attached to the rebar and wanted to, it to be completely encased in concrete and read the strain that was going on inside of these uh, concrete segments. And so this block of concrete that I brought with me it was the simulated um, uh, tunnel concrete tunnel liner. And as you can see, we have rebar in here, uh, and it's about uh, an inch thick to this chamber that I have inside of the um, of the uh, concrete. So I don't know if you can show that on the camera. Okay, so this is our electronics module. It's about one inch square and about a half an inch thick. We then have a cable that goes to a standard um, foil strain sensor. Uh, this one happens to be a micro measurements fiche uh, full bridge strain sensor. I'm gonna stick this inside the concrete and I'm gonna seal it from the RF energy this way. And then I'm gonna go turn on the RFID reader and we're gonna read the strain. Okay. 
So as you can see, I know the screen's a little hard to read, but right here, can you see my cursor? 171 microstrains. Uh, I'm sorry, here, let's see. Uh, it's, I think it's on my computer. No? Great. Thank you. So uh, right here, we have a unique ID number. We have the micro strain being read from the uh, strain sensor. And we also have a temperature sensor on this. And we're reading it about once per second. And we're reading through about an inch and a half of concrete. And we can read it from about a foot away, a foot to two foot. If that's not good enough, Let's make it thicker. Ugh. We're still reading it. So we're reading through about four or five inches of concrete with the strain sensor right up against rebar and we're getting a very accurate strain and temperature reading. Um, now, one of the cool features about RFID that comes as a free bonus is it can read multiple tags at the same time. So I have a second strain sensor on here and I've got it on a bar that I can change how much it bends and measure the strain. So you, you see a second tag pop up. So this is the tag that's inside the concrete. This is the tag that's on my load beam. And I'm going to dial the knob. I'm going to loosen it up and make the strain go down. And now I'm going to increase the strain up to about 12. The maximum bend is about 1,200 microstrain on this. There it is. It's reading about once per second. Now the other nice thing is the setup that I have is this RFID reader is an off-the-shelf RFID reader. It's the exact same reader that's used by your toll booths or your libraries. And this is an off-the-shelf handheld Trimble Juno reader. And I'm going to read, I don't know if, can you get this on camera? I'll read the strain with a handheld reader. So I could walk into the tunnel, point this handheld reader at the um, strain, or point it at the tunnel wall, and I can read the strain. I'm sorry, here, let me hold it. I'm shaking a little bit. This is now reading, the one that's uh, 1195, 1199 is the beam. And the one, this one isn't quite um, reading through the, the thick concrete. There it is, 142 now. So there, it does, it does uh, bobble a little bit, but it does give a very accurate reading based on full scale. These strain sensors are plus or minus 2,000 microstrains, so bobbling around by 10 or 20 microstrain is pretty insignificant and still provides real high value. Um, there are a number of other um, really great benefits to this technology that I'm going to have to go through quickly. Did my demonstration. Okay, no battery, so it can be embedded and it can be long life. We can read through materials such as concrete, sheetrock, composite materials. Uh, we use existing off-the-shelf RFID readers. We use standard foil strain sensors, so you can go to Viché or HBM and pick one of a thousand different strain sensors as perfect for your application. We have high accuracy. The data is transmitted digitally. This is not an analog RFID system. The, uh, the data is backscattered back to the reader digitally with a CRC, so, we, so we're accurate. Okay, on time? Yeah. 
Okay. Small, inexpensive, fast to install. Send with an ID number. You can write data to the tag, including historical data. Am I out of time? Okay. I think so. I think you have given a very nice appetizer here. And uh, I hope you'll come back again in two years' time okay. and show more. Because, uh, yes, it's really interesting the way you read, and there's a lot of interesting ideas which came up. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.